Hey, welcome to this demonstration of exercise two from the isometric presentation. You know it, when I draw, I go very monotone. So if you start getting drowsy, pinch yourself, slap yourself, stay with me. I'm, I'm here, okay? So let's go. Exercise two. I'm gonna take this from a different approach this time meaning from a different angle. From the last time I came in from this angle on my paper, uh, not this time. This time I'm gonna come from another direction. Uh, you saw at the beginning of this video a reminder of that plan view. I'm going off of that. Once again, I'm gonna start in the basement. So here I go, I'm gonna come along here in the basement with my building drain. I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna have my basement floor. And then I'm gonna come up eight feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's my stack in the wall. It's gonna go all the way down to the building drain. And now I have established what is my main floor, right? The pipe comes up into the joist in the main floor, so it turns horizontally like this. I'm gonna come out a little ways and I'm going straight shot towards the toilet. So I'll start there and just say, all right, here's my toilet. Got that established. That came up from a basement wall into the joists. Now this actually demonstrates some decent wet venting and I'm not gonna go into depth on how to vent. You can get venting in the International Plumbing Code presentations, but for the first fixture I'm gonna to come to is the shower. So I'm gonna branch off horizontally here. Now let me demonstrate for you how you can draw 45 degree angles, okay? Because we can do our straight 90 degree angles, but if I wanna turn this one to 45, I can go straight through these diamonds, well, triangles, it creates a diamond. So I'm, I'm going through these diamonds like this, and then I turn again and follow my 30 degrees. What that does is it creates that change of direction but it, it illustrates for us, like here's a 45 and here's a 45. It's turned to 90, but this is how we draw 45s isometrically. So I have a P-trap here and my shower. Again, I need to come off for my lav, so I'm gonna branch off here. And going the other way, if I'm doing a 45 degree angle, I follow the diamonds. So here's a diamond and a diamond. If I try and follow a straight line, it's gonna mess with my angles. It's gonna look off. It'll confuse me for a vertical like this. This is a vertical. So I can't be doing that to demonstrate a 45, but if I come through two triangles in that diamond, that creates that 45 degree angle. Again, I've got a lavatory over here, so I went up too far. I had to bring it back down. Here's my lav trap. And from there, it carries on trying to get back on my line there as a vent. Okay, so coming up here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so here is my ceiling up there at eight. So this is, again, to scale to some degree, right? And I could hand this off to someone. And they should be able to see how I need this bathroom group piped to maintain proper venting and everything. So that's exercise two. Be sure to check out exercise three and we'll go over the water lines.